Let's head over to some red states that are really continuing their campaign against trans people from having rights. That's right, they're introducing one hateful bill after another. And the latest one comes from West Virginia and also North Dakota. Well, first up on West Virginia, well, there are two bills that have been introduced, and this is in Mencken's state, aiming to protect minors from being exposed to trans people. Here are the details. So the bills introduced this week by State Senator Michael Anzinger, a Republican, would prohibit obscene and sexually explicit materials in or within 2,500 feet of the state's schools and would bar children from being present from obscene performances or displays. And the bill's four point definition of obscene matter is for the most part general and includes material that appeals to the purient interest or that is patent offensive. But the fourth part of the definition specifically defines indecent displays of a sexually explicit nature in part as any transvestite and or transgender exposure performances or display to any minor. Now violators could face fines and misdemeanors. School personnel who violate the school related bill, that's SB 252. Could be charged with a misdemeanor, which can carry a fine of up to $500 and or a year in prison. And people who violate the bill regulating venues and performances, SB 278, could face a misdemeanor, a fine up to $1,000 or jail time. Now, Andrew Snyder, the executive director of Fairness West Virginia, that is an LGBT rights group, said this about the bills. These bills are like the don't say gay, but on steroids. They seem like they're about protecting kids from harm, but really it's a ploy to erase LGBTQ people from public life. Absolutely. And we also know that per the Washington Post this, so far this year, lawmakers have introduced more than 120 bills targeting LGBTQ people according to an NBC News analysis. In West Virginia, legislatures have introduced at least 10. That is astonishing given the fact that we are just now in 2023. But it really shows you what the focus is for a lot of members of legislature around the country that they are looking to roll back the civil rights and just the what any sense of humanity that individuals from the trans community have. Jenk. Uh, three parts of this that will tell you what it's actually about. So they say, well, it's about protecting the children. Uh, and from pure and interest, like things that are sexual. Uh, hey, we, this is an anti LGBTQ. Really? Then why were transvestites and transgender people, according to the, their language in the bill, the only ones mentioned? You didn't mention, hey, by the way, if a straight woman uh, shows her breasts to young uh, kids or a straight man shows his genitalia, so, no, none of that is mentioned. The only people mentioned are transgender people. Gee, I wonder why they're passing this bill. Your hatred is showing. It's not, if you think you're doing a sophisticated job of hiding it, you're not. Okay, that's point one. Point two is how broad the bill is in two different directions. One is how it applies to transgender folks. They say that they're not allowed to do any, if there's kids around, any singing, dancing, skits, or monologues in order to entertain an audience. Monologue is talking. So if a transgender person is talking in the vicinity of kids in West Virginia, and someone is entertained by that conversation, they could be put in prison for up to a year. You're gonna pass that bill? You're gonna pass that bill? Probably Republicans think, sure, you know why? Because they're not trying to be non-discriminatory. The whole point is discrimination. So if you told the Republicans you might put transgender people in jail for being transgender, they think, oops, we did it again. By the way, mainstream media, again, all they do is political correctness to help Republicans. I know you've heard your whole life, liberal media. It Just because you heard that from Republicans for 40 years doesn't make it correct or honest or true. In reality, the media should be telling you every time 120 bills in just a short period of time. Since 2018, it's been over 700 bills that Republicans have tried to pass against the LGBTQ community. You know what that means? That means they hate them. They're targeting them. They're discriminating against them. They're saying they should not have the same rights as every other American. That's because 
generally speaking, Republicans are so much more un-American than the rest of us. They hate the idea of equality, they hate the idea of justice, they love discrimination, that's why they propose bills like this. Hey, listen, if you're a Republican, West Virginia or elsewhere, you can say, "Oh, Jake, I'm so offended, man. That's ridiculous, okay? I, I love this country, uh, but these uh, transgender people had it coming. They should be treated differently." Thank you for making my point. You're not getting it. You're the hateful person. Yep, and it's only hate because it's damn sure not constitutional. I could tell you that the law is extraordinarily vague, and it's definitely going to run afoul of First Amendment rights. Because as you noted, if you're just somewhere entertaining people, it's like, yeah, you got a First Amendment right, so someone can't come over and slap handcuffs on you. And also, as we've seen with other obscenity laws out there, they can chill people's First Amendment rights. Making them afraid to do what they want to do, which is just be members of society. And apparently, North Dakota is on that same trip because there, what the GOP is doing is introducing a bill where they want to find people for using their preferred pronouns. Yeah, that's right. So, Republican State Senator David Clemens, and there should be a picture of him right there. Yeah, great chap. Well, he introduced the bill. And what we know from Vice News is this, the rule would apply to organizations that receive state funding, which includes public schools. That means schools and teachers could be fined $1,500 for using their trans colleagues or students pronouns. But words used to reference an individual's sex, gender, gender identity, gender expression. They mean the individual's determined sex at birth, male or female, state Senate bill 2199. Any person that violates this section must be assessed a fee of $1,500, yeah, it's $1,500. Also, it's just quite interesting because I'd love to know um, if they actually plan to have scientists involved in passing this bill, because scientists will tell you there is a lot more than just male or female. In fact, there are intersex. And as I like to know, there are as many intersex people in this world as there are redheads. Uh, So you have to realize there are many people around us who are intersex, and I know a number of intersex people. But let's be smart and realize It's not just male or female. But anyway, this bill has faced a considerable amount of pushback, as it should, because it is ignorant and very, very foolish. But even so, the state Senate Judiciary Committee, well, they recommended the bill shouldn't pass. And that should tell you as well that the courts there may not be that inclined to go ahead and allow for it to be enforced. But hey, Why not go ahead and put it out there to let individuals know that they cannot be who they are and be worthy of respect in our society, Jank. Okay, so uh, let's break this one down real quick. Uh, So if you, if it passed, if you called Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, not Bruce, you'd have to pay them $1,500. Every time you call someone by their correct name, you have to pay $1,500. They're like, no. This is a hilarious new low for Republicans. They're like, you must call people by the incorrect name. <laughs> the guy's worried about fake news. Okay, so um, I'm gonna break, break it down uh, further though. So they say, uh, the, and to be fair to the Republicans, they say, look, this one's not likely to pass in North Dakota. And asked why, the other Republicans say, it's poorly written. You might get excited, you go, oh, well, you know, maybe they use that as an excuse, and maybe North Dakota is a little bit more progressive than we realize. More open. No, they have 10 other bills against transgender people, and some of which have already passed, um, so including uh, you're not allowed to have gender affirming care for certain ages. Uh, you're not allowed to uh, play in certain uh, sports teams in uh, certain ages, et cetera. All these different restrictions that only apply to people who are transgender. Uh, and these are the people who claim that they like equality. Absurd, no, but in this one, they're like, look, look, we love hating transgender people in North Dakota if you're a Republican, but we don't like poor grammar. This one was poorly written. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. And which brings me back to the first one. Um, they said, well, the uh, distinction we're drawing in West Virginia is if something is patently offensive and involves transgender people, okay? Patently offensive. Okay, well, by whose definition? If you ask Republicans, Roy Moore, uh, who molested underage girls and was so well known for it that the local malls would issue advisories, watch out a pervert's on his way. He targets young women, young children. 
And Republicans thought that's not offensive. And they nominated him to be senator in Alabama. But they think, oh, you're in the LGBTQ community? I find you patently offensive. <laughs> We're gonna let these guys decide what's offensive and trust their standards? Guys, if you're not getting it, let me be clear. That 120 bills, that's just so far this year. It hasn't even been a month. And over 100, they're like, all right, we're in charge. Are we gonna raise people's wages? Are we gonna give them health care? Are we gonna give them paid family leave? No, let's attack a transgender people. 120 in like 20 days. The whole point of the Republican Party is to drive hatred and fear and get people all riled up so they can pass tax cuts for the rich. That's the only point. And if you're in the Republican Party, and you're rich, you're thinking, <laughs> we drove so much hatred for our tax cuts. We're so smart, okay? You're a despicable person, but at least you're honest about it. Everybody else, you're the suckers. Yeah, when it comes to this whole thing with North Dakota, uh, when you said I didn't think uh, you didn't think the bill would pass because it's not written correctly, I was thinking it, you know, it may not pass because no one's up in North Dakota. It's like I don't know who do you think you are? You feel like you got to get up in this uh, anti-trans fight as a red state? It's like uh, you're a state of no one really knows. But I could tell you that you should be looking for creating ways in which getting as many people to your state as possible and keeping people out by forcing them to use pronouns that you prefer just seems like uh, extremely ignorant. Um, but it just, it really shows you that so many people out there, regardless of where they are on the map, are looking to hate on trans people or anybody who doesn't fit their narrative of how they should be living or what their lives should look like. Nobody wants to return to that. No one wants to live in a world where there's only one format of person. That's the beauty of living in a society where you have difference, where you are able to embrace diversity, where you can learn from different people and also where people get to be who they are. So I don't know, I just really encourage so many of these red states and individuals in them who are so anti-trans or anti-LGBTQ and so on and so forth to really just find some purpose in your life and focus on that and leave other people alone. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.